Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Unit 3, Part 3 from Speak Out Pre-Intermediate. This subunit is called Can I Take a Message? In this part we're going to learn some words about making a phone call, uh, some collocations that we use while calling someone and when we speak about telephoning, and learn to manage phone problems. The first part is, as you see, is speaking. We have some questions here to discuss. First, look at the pictures. Who do you think each person is talking to? What do they want? As you see in the picture, you can see a boss and an employee. And you can see a mother and her daughter. I think they discuss some problems. Uh, and another question is, do you prefer speaking on the phone or in person? You can tell your own opinions. Me personally, I prefer speaking in person rather than speaking on the phone. And the third question, have you ever made a call or taking a message in English and what happened? In my life, I actually made a lot of phone calls in English and took a lot of messages in English. Uh, and I could properly replay all of them and I could answer uh, the phone calls in English. So, uh, we have here vocabulary about collocations. Let's look at the collocations we have here. Have a chat. Arrange to meet friends. Book a table. Cancel a booking. Cancel a reservation. Check information. Change a ticket. Talk business. We're going to use these collocations, especially while listening. We have here a listening exercise. Listen to four people making phone calls. Why are they phoning? Choose from the reasons in exercise 2A. So, we'll have a listening. And we should find the reasons from exercise 2A. Let's listen. Unit 3. Recording 5. 1. King's Restaurant. Hello. Uh, I'd like to book a table for four on Friday night. Around 8.30 if possible. Let me just have a look. Um, sorry. We're completely full on Friday. There's nothing at all. Uh, what about Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. Um, the best I can do is a table at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? You haven't got anything earlier. Nothing at all, I'm afraid. Okay, let's go ahead. Ten o'clock. Can I take your name, please? The table is for Rodney Collins. Rodney... Oh, can you repeat that, please? Did you say Rodney Collins? Yes. Okay, that's all booked. Table for four, ten o'clock, Saturday. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Two. Hi, Tower Productions. Paul speaking. How can I help you? Hello. I was wondering if you could help me. I've booked a ticket for the show on the 5th of June, but I'd like to change the date. Okay, one moment. Can I just check? What's the name, please? The tickets are booked in the name of Judy Starr. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Did you say Starr? Judy Starr. S-T-A-R-R. -R. Okay. Yes, two tickets for June the 5th. What date would you like to change to? What dates do you still have seats for? There's nothing on the 6th or 7th. There are two seats for the 8th, but they're separate. We have... Sorry, can you slow down, please? Two seats for... Sorry, two seats for the 8th, but they aren't together. We can do you two seats together on the 9th of June. 9th of June. That's fine. OK, I'll just go ahead and book that.
Okay, as you listen, there are four different conversations and four different reasons. The first reason for a phone call is to book a table, three, to book a table. The second reason for a call is to change a ticket. The third reason is to arrange to meet friends. And the last one, to cancel a booking or reservation. Uh, we're going to listen. That's listening again, but this time you should complete the notes. We have your four conversation. You should complete the notes, which is given. Let's listen and complete it one by one. Unit three, recording five, one. King's Restaurant. Hello. Uh, I'd like to book a table for four on Friday night. Around 8.30 if possible. Let me just have a look. Um, sorry. We're completely full on Friday. There's nothing at all. Oh. What about Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. Um, the best I can do is a table at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? You haven't got anything earlier. Nothing at all, I'm afraid. Okay, let's go ahead. Ten o'clock. Can I take your name, please? The table is for Rodney Collins. Rodney... Oh, can you repeat that, please? Did you say Rodney Collins? Yes. Okay, that's all booked. Table for four, ten o'clock, Saturday. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, as you listen, let's complete the notes. Friday, Rodney Collins, table for four people. Day, Saturday, time, 10 o'clock. And let's listen, the second one. High Tower Productions. Two. High Tower Productions, Paul speaking. How can I help you? Hello. I was wondering if you could help me. I've booked a ticket for the show on the 5th of June, but I'd like to change the date. Okay, one moment. Can I just check? What's the name, please? The tickets are booked in the name of Judy Starr. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Did you say Starr? Judy Starr. S-T-A-R-R. -R. Okay. Yes, two tickets for June the 5th. What date would you like to change to? What 
dates do you still have seats for? There's nothing on the 6th or 7th. There are two seats for the 8th, but they're separate. We have... Sorry, can you slow down, please? Two seats for... Sorry, two seats for the 8th, but they aren't together. We can do you two seats together on the 9th of June. 9th of June? That's fine. Okay, I'll just go ahead and book that. Okay, in the second conversation, they use some words less completed. Two tickets for Judy Star. Original date, 5th of June. New date, 9th of June. Let's listen to conversation three. Three. As you listened, dinner with Wendy and the gang, Zanzi bars at 8.30 on Saturday night. Let's listen to the conversation four. Four. Thompson & Co, who's calling? Hello, this is Andy. Andy Jones. Can I speak to Sarah Hobbs, please? I'm afraid she's not here at the moment. Ah. Do you know when she'll be back? I've tried her mobile three or four times and left messages, but she hasn't called back. But she's visiting a customer. She should be back this evening. Can I take a message? It's about dinner tonight. I've had to cancel because of work. Okay, I'll ask her to call you back. Thanks. Does she have your number? It's 0988-45673. Can you repeat that, please? 0988-45673. Okay. As you listen, the, the next date, uh, 28th of May, to Sarah Hobbs, Keller, Andy Jones, time 3.30, message was, cancel, the dinner please call back call back okay we have heard actually a lot of phrases in a phone conversations here we have function words making a phone call we have words here let's complete the phrases in the table with the words in the box we have words it's back for leave here take and can for starting the call, the caller says, hello, this is Andy, or hello, it is Andy. So we use it is. And receiver says, hello, Paul speaking. When we ask to speak to someone or find out who is speaking, we can say, can I speak to? And receiver says, who is calling? When the person the caller wants isn't there, we say, can I leave a message? And the receiver can say, I'm afraid she's not here at the moment. Can I take a message? I'll ask her to call you back. So those are the phrases that we use. And also we have phrases for finishing the call. Usually the caller says, see you soon, 
our goodbye. And the receiver usually says, thanks for calling. See you soon. Goodbye. So those are the older phrases that we use while phoning someone and while answering her phone call. And the next exercise is about completing the phone conversation between receiver and caller. Let's complete it. Hello. Jane speaking. Hi, it's Mike. Hi, Mike. How are you? I am fine. How about you? Very well. Thanks. Are you busy at the moment? Do you want to have lunch in the Japanese restaurant? That sounds good. What time? One o'clock. Great. Okay. See you soon. Thanks. Conversation two. Lupini products. Hello. Can I speak to the managing director? Who is calling? It is Jane Walker here. I'm afraid he's not here at the moment. I think he's at lunch. Can I take a message? Please tell him I'm waiting for him in the Japanese restaurant and I'm ordering right now. So, as you see from the listening exercises and from these two conversations, you can we can use some phrases for answering a call and for while calling someone in English. I'm going to recap all we have learned here. At the end of our book, we have a language bank, which everything is explained in detail. Making a phone call. For caller, for starting the call, we have phrases. Hello, this is Andy. Hello, it is Wendy. When we call somebody, we don't say I am on the phone. We usually say this is or it is when we introduce ourselves. When we want to ask to speak to someone, we say, can I speak to? When the person you want isn't there, we say, can I leave a message? And when we finish the call, we say, see you soon or goodbye. Receiver. When the receiver starts the call, he or she usually says, hello, Paul speaking. When he or she wants to find out who is speaking, he asks, who is calling, please, or just who's calling. When the person the caller wants isn't there, the receiver says, I'm afraid she's not here at the moment. Can I take a message? I'll ask you, I'll ask her to call you back. And when the receiver finishes the call, he or she usually says, thanks for calling. Those are the older phrases that we use while making a phone call. Now let's come back and continue practicing. So we have here some other exercises. Manage phone problems. Let's look at the phrases in bold in the audio script below and match them to the problems A to D. First one has been done for you. We need to hear something again. When we need to hear something again, we usually say, say, sorry, I didn't catch that. Did you say, did you say star? Or we can say, can you repeat that please? When the speaker is speaking too fast, we say, sorry, can you slow down please? When the speaker is speaking too quietly, we can say, can you speak up, please? When we are not sure the information is correct, we say, can I just check? So those are the phrases that we use for managing phone problems. 
We have here again listening exercises. Let's listen and repeat the phrases. Unit three, recording six, one. Can I just check? Two, sorry, I didn't catch that. Did you say star? Three, sorry, can you slow down please? Four, can you speak up, please? Five. Can you repeat that, please? Okay, as you heard all the phrases, we have another listening. Listen and write an appropriate response to each phrase. So, let's listen and write our responses. Unit three, recording seven, one. My phone number is 765-9876-2135, okay? Uh, as you heard, she speaks too fast, so we can say, sorry, can you slow down, please? Two. So as you see, he speaks too quietly. We can say, sorry, can you speak up, please? Three. My phone number is two. Okay, as you heard, it is so difficult to hear what she said. So we can say, can you repeat that, please? I'll be taking the 645 from Houston and changing at Miami, and I'll arrive at about 2. Okay, as you see, uh, he spoke actually too fast. We can say, can I just check? Because he, he gives us some information. We need to check the information. So you can say, can I just check, etc. Let's listen and check if we did correctly or not. Unit three, recording eight, one. My phone number is 765-9876-2135, okay? Sorry, can you slow down, please? Two, my full address is the one I gave you last week, the New York address. Sorry, can you speak up, please? Three. My phone number is... Can you repeat that, please? Four. I'll be taking the 645 from Houston and changing up my app, and I'll arrive at about two. Can I just check? Did you say two? Okay. As you saw, we did correctly. So, we finished this part. Unit 3, Part 3. See you next lesson. Goodbye.